Hi there, this is Penelope. This is a very, very short video from the video on applications of quadratics at two minutes. There's something that doesn't look like a quadratic that you're asked to solve. Here's the question here. Now, that doesn't look like a quadratic. A quadratic says ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And that doesn't look like that. But if we could somehow make it into a quadratic, then possibly we could factorize it. Or if we couldn't factorize it, if we couldn't factorize it, we could at least use the quadratic formula or maybe we could complete the square or whatever. But what we've got to do is say, look, I've got a 2x, 2 to the power of x there. And really, I've got 2 to the power of x squared in that first term. So then if I write that, then it looks like something squared minus 10 times that same something plus 16. So what if I say, let z equal 2 to the power of x. Any number will do. I could have used a triangle. So then I've got z squared minus 10z plus 16 equals 0. That's easy. That's z. Z looks like it'll factorize. Okay, I want... <clears throat> what do I want? Minus... 2 minus 8, that works. So then z equals 2 or z equals 8. Now, we weren't asked to find z. We already had that z was equal to 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of x equals 2 or 2 to the power of x equals 8. And just by inspection, we don't even have to do anything. 2 to the power of what is 2? So x equals 1. 2 to the power of what equals 8? 3. There we have it. Hope that helps.